ever wondered how your fruits and vegetables go from here to here? Well, in Santa Barbara County, you can find each step along the way. And if you keep watching, we'll show them to you. Across the nation and throughout the world, salads, snacks, and dinner plates alike include many fruits and vegetables from Santa Barbara County. All the produce that, uh, that we grow here in the valley winds up on someone's table. So yes, this is very, very important to us. Everyone has an interest that has survived. One of the most successful crops grown here is also one of the healthiest for you, broccoli. Scientists from right here at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and at Johns Hopkins University found that broccoli and broccoli sprouts have the highest amount of an important compound that is responsible for the cancer preventative and anti-carcinogenic benefits of the vegetable. A lot of the research is indicating that broccoli has health benefits, and so because of all the health benefits of broccoli, we see the consumers eating more and more broccoli. And for nearly 80 years, this health powerhouse has been grown right here in Santa Barbara County. Well, broccoli has been grown here in the Santa Maria Valley for well over 50 years now. It's one of our uh, primary crops here in Santa Barbara County. In the last 10 years, broccoli has been either the first, second, or third largest commodity, and it's generated over $1 billion in gross revenues for Santa Barbara County in the last 10 years. And in Santa Barbara County, we grow over 28,000 acres of broccoli. Broccoli could be grown year-round here because of the, the climate. It's a temperate climate. It's influenced by the maritime uh, weather from the coast. And it's a cool, uh, yet sunny and dry climate. And broccoli is basically grown and produced uh, here on a year-round basis. We need to have that, that consistent supply to these customers today. They don't want to be inconvenienced with weather situations or issues that we're having, that, that we're in, that we're out, they want product 365 days of the year. This valley lends itself to that type of production. We have um, soils um, that, that are conducive towards growing broccoli. We have a water supply for irrigating the crop, and we have this wonderful climate here. And those three factors make growing broccoli very, very successful here. With this prime location along the Central Coast, we are able to ship 30 million carts of broccoli each year, amounting to more than 20% of the nation's supply of broccoli. One of the reasons for this success is the farmer's resourcefulness and care for the land. Agriculture has evolved. It used to be that you would plant uh, seeds and then you would hope that some bird wouldn't eat it. You would hope that uh, Mother Nature would, would cooperate. But now you have transplanting methods. You have drip irrigation that puts water right to the root system. You have harvesting that's done within two hours. It's at our facility and it's ready to be shipped anywhere, really anywhere in the world. We are a world economy now and it's evolved to the point where we need to feed the world and we're very fortunate to have the right climate, the right soils here. We're very fortunate to have farmers that know what they're doing. Just like anything else, there's good farmers and there's bad farmers, and we're very fortunate to have very good farmers in this valley. We use things such as uh, transplants. Transplants have helped with our consistency due to the fact that in the past, we used to put seed in the ground, and a lot of things can affect seed. The emergence of it, cold weather, uh, rains, animals, birds, uh, what we found is, is we, can, we can keep our program much more consistent with the use of transplants. So we've there's a lot of drip irrigation today. We are about 70%, maybe 80% drip irrigation on all of our crops, and that's allowed us to reduce our water applications by as much as half or 60%. We are very aware of, of trying to avoid any runoff water into public waterways. In the Santa Maria Valley, we've got the Osa Flaco Lake, we've got the Santa Maria Estuary, so we're very aware of that. We work with the Regional Water Quality Control Board on a regular basis to try and minimize our runoff. And with that minimization of runoff, everything, the, the nutrients, the erosion and all that is eliminated also. 
or reduced. That diligence to their surroundings and constant search for the most effective growing methods helps Santa Barbara County's broccoli growers create a product that is sought after throughout the world. And it's basically iced into cartons and cooled and loaded upon trucks for interstate shipment. And we ship broccoli all over the United States and Canada. And there is a lot of broccoli that's exported um, to the Pacific Rim countries. For example, in Japan, Santa Maria Valley broccoli, the label Santa Maria Valley broccoli is very well known and sought after by Japanese consumers. We have special cuts that go, uh, we have a domestic crown cut. Uh, we have a domestic bunch. We have a special cut for broccoli going into New York. Um, special cuts for, the, for Japanese customers. A lot of it into China, Taiwan. So yes, we do kind of cater. We do ship 20, maybe 25% outside of the US. By delivering quality products and catering to a variety of consumer wants, our broccoli farmers bring in over $131 million every year. But the broccoli industry does more than just bring in revenue from the vegetable itself. Ag has always been the backbone of the county. It's very important and will continue to be very important that we all need to eat uh, vegetables and it's uh, part of life. A good percentage of our population still works in ag. And if it's not either in harvesting, it's in some other support capacity. We've always been an agricultural com community and uh, I think it's, it's really the, the, the basis of our tax base. With the amount of business related to the farming industry and the amount of workers it employs, it's no wonder that the impact it makes spreads well beyond the farm rows and nurseries. It's an industry that uh, generates, at least uh, in this past year, approximately $1.1 billion. And uh, when you include the multiplier effect uh, into that, it has an impact of about $2.2 billion. So we're really talking about an industry that's probably the largest in Santa Barbara County and brings a lot of revenue to us uh, and we surely don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. Residents recognize the local broccoli industry and our broccoli growers for their important and valuable contributions to local agriculture and to the quality of life in Santa Barbara County. It's, it's important to realize that not only do they provide jobs but they also sustain the local economy by buying at the local hardware store, by eating at the local restaurants. So that's how you get to know them. Uh, and the other thing is farmers, it's not like you switch farmers every two, three years. It's the same farmer. It might be a new generation. It's still the same family though. So they're a vital uh, component of the community and uh, they're appreciated. The farmers that grow these vitamin-packed vegetables not only add to residents' nutritional intake, but to the health of the community. Agriculture is a very important industry to us here in Santa Barbara County and the world. It's extremely important that we continue to support our agricultural community and products that they serve to us. And uh, I think that what we can do is to make sure that we buy our local products and sustain our local economy. Broccoli you know, is my favorite vegetable. I, you know, I love broccoli and, and I eat it quite often. And it's good for you. It's obviously good for you. So you better eat a lot of broccoli.